Our chief guest for the day is an alumni from Madras Christian College. He has worked for the Indian Police and was also the chief of the special task force assigned to NAB Veerappan, the infamous sandalwood smuggler, an IPS officer and also senior security advisor to the Home Ministry, Mr. K. Vijay Kumar graces this occasion with his honorable presence. Sir, I request you to please come forward to address the assembly. Good afternoon. I am very thankful to Dr. J. Viswanathan for uh, get, giving me a chance to be in this wonderful crowd which exudes a bullion's energy in abundant untold measure. I am grateful to Mr. Vinoj who says that as a young editor he met me 20 years or so before and I gave him three coffees and a good interview so he owes me three coffees that's why <laughs> when he invited me I said I should be here. I was also told that Sam Rajapa is going to be here today so I said a bonus. Then I believe this occasion is to honor a person of outstanding merit who have made profound impact in their own immediate circle and somebody from Ladakh and Leh. Surviving in Leh itself is a great thing. I don't know how many of you have gone to Leh and Ladakh but for those people, sons of the soil, it's a different thing. Sons includes daughters. Because in Indian Penal Code, Section 2 says, whenever we say he, it includes she. In fact, it should be the other way. She has already he there. But, but I was told, this person called Thinless, she is looking thin all right, which is a compliment. She is a lass all right. But she has made very stout achievements, made an impact. If this goes at this rate, women entrepreneurs will be kicking out a substantial number of males. I think beware. <laughs> the future is going to be the reverse. In a lighter way, I am a student of military history. Incidentally, I am a fellow MBA. I believe most of you are MBA guys. How many are MBA, MBA students? How many are the, uh, I mean, the other BBA? BBA? All right, good. I am very happy to be here. Somehow I snatched, I could not get through the regular channel, so I got this collateral or sitting in my job. Whenever they dumped me to a so-called unimportant post, which was very frequent in my case, you only saw the list of success there, big story. I'm going to tell you the failure stories also. Don't think that I'm a cat's whisker. And that is going to be the lesson to you, because when you get a guy who is above 50, which I believe I am, because they retired me two years ago, so I must be over 50, and most of you guys are half my age, so I tend to believe you are my son and daughter's age. In any case, they are not going to listen to my sermons and you guys are going to. <laughs> and you are completely under custody. I find a lot of policemen in and around. <laughs> so what better stuff I can have? To be in VAT, what a wonderful and Selvam. Nice to have you uh, sitting along with you. A young man with all dynamism. He's going to take whatever his dad did even forward. Mr. Vishwanathan, I watched him for a long time from the sidelines because I was mostly a bodyguard. Bodyguard means a shadow behind the VAP. A dumb fellow watching all the time, listening, but not knowing anything. So I have been behind Rajiv Gandhi for five years, behind, standing behind Jailalitha, <laughs> the honorable former chief minister. So I've seen uh, the, the movement of people from one to another, the politicians, ex-politicians, how they move. But as you know, he was an aspirant for the Indian Police Service. He would have made it to the IAS and he, he got into the Indian Police Service and stayed back in the politics. And look at what he has created. This is my second or third visit and whenever I come here, I find something growing. You're all lucky to be here studying here. And I'm very happy to note that the in, spite of, uh, in spite of WhatsApp and the many things going on, not many heads are hunched down, most of you are looking up. That's a good sign. <laughs> I, am, I am grateful. I am grateful for that. So my congratulations to the awardee, congratulations to Vinoj and uh, Sam Rajapa 
for the launching of this magazine and discovering her and bringing her before you. Because when we look at the people who have done better in their own circles, who have been pools of excellence, we tend to get inspired. And people without inspiration are not going to achieve much. They're going to eat, live, and die like any other normal human being. You and I are not. Tinlers is not, very clearly. Therefore, it's my privilege to have been sitting with her, though the connection with Leh is plenty. It takes, gives me memories of Leh. I have been in Ladakh several times as a part of the BSF. My battalion was in Chinigun, and during Kargil intrusion, our battalion was one of the frontier battalions, which did better than most battalions. And, and, uh, and uh, from the flea market or the second-hand market of uh, Leh, I bought a sleeping bag which carried me through my difficulties, through my JNK tenure, even minus 30 degrees. Your sleeping bag from Leh was doing a good job. I carried it to my STF days. It's made of goose feather. And even today, I possess it as souvenir. So connection to Velour, I was a SP here, very rash and negligent or whatever, SP. But true to my profession, I stayed here for barely three months and more, but I carry rich, rich memories of my men, of the public, political people, including Mr. Viswanathan. He was those days about to become a minister in Tamil Nadu. He is doing something brilliant outside the circle of politics, as I mentioned to you. So it gives me a tremendous uh, sense of uh, happiness to be here. And, uh, and the most important thing in whatever you're doing is a passion. So when I did my MBA, I was reading the best of the classics, not simply some notes here and there. I wanted to know what is the best book. Who is this fellow called Philip Kotler? You must, familiar, <laughs> familiar name, right? So I went through this fellow. I never gave it up. What is that four piece or five piece and all? <laughs> not, not giving up and if necessary, mugging also. No, though rote memory is not a great thing. When Kotler finally came to Chennai, I, by the time I had finished my MBA, I was commissioner of police Chennai and he was coming to Meridian Hotel. I wanted to figure out how I could uh, get an entry. I was told 15,000 bucks, which I couldn't afford. But they told me, you are commissioner of police, you can come as security chief and whatever thing, you come as an invitee. I said, no. I declined it politely for my own reasons, because I didn't want to take that compliment for that occasion. But nevertheless, I made it a point to go through whatever he spoke and what are the question answers. Thereafter, I purchased a small booklet called 150 Questions or FAQ from Kotler or something, which I'm not able to recollect. Beautiful book. And thereafter, I continued to follow this guy. Similarly, for each of the book, I was doing uh, human resource development as a, as a specialization. I used to go to the classical point and then try my best. So the point I'm trying to convey to pontificate is that you should have the passion. You should decide that this book is not beyond you. This book is, cannot dominate you. You dominate that book. Until you understand it, you should take the guidance of your gurus or masters or Google or whatever you want. Never give up. The next point I want to say is the world is very tough. Not as soft as what VAT. VAT, I'm sure, must be tough. Your teachers must be tough. Your atmosphere must be tough, which is good. But the world outside is nasty and brutish, brutal. Once upon a time, the sculptures in Greece, they were the epitome of energy. You look at any statue of any Greek statue, you Google it and you'll find a man with muscles and energy moving, a woman with grace and beauty moving. Everything is in movement. So much of energy is captivated. And Greece was number one in the world, in a sense. Tamil culture, our own thing was very ancient. But Greece, for whatever reason, just like Machiavelli became more popular than our own Chanakya, Sun Tzu became more popular than our own Chanakya, because the Western world took it, the propagation was much more powerful. So therefore, Greek as a pioneer, not to say anything less about Tamils, because we are also pioneers in many things. However, the part of Greek was, Greece was a place called Sparta, very small country. What was Sparta? I'm talking about tough love and discipline. What was Sparta? At the age of 10 or, 10 or 11 or 12, the mother will give two couple of dresses to the kid, his, her own son, and tell him to get out, go out of the house, go to the barracks, go and learn the art of warfare, of the mind and body, not simply the muscle building, but reflex. Mind also, synaptic memory, rich education. 
military history, pride, patriotism, and so on. They became so tough when the actual battle took place, these trainees did not even realize it was actual battle. They think it is like a child's play. We thought it is going to be miserable. The training itself was so tough. That should be your attitude, not training necessarily in VAT, self-training throughout wherever you are. The next thing I want to tell you is, the first 10 years of your life from now on is very, very crucial because you've already been lucky. You are all very fortunate to be able to come to this place and study in VIT. What a fortunate bunch of people you are. So from here, the launching pad has been good to launch yourself further to inimitable heights. Next 10 years, you should work hard because with that velocity, you can carry on because it will become a matter of habit after 10 years. If you're able to work hard for 10 years, you will earn reputation. You will have, you will have to entrench yourself in whatever line you are. And as a matter of habit, you will be able to carry it forward. The rewards will pour in. I was uniquely lucky in that sense. I was one of the lucky blokes, if I may call myself. But you should know a few points where I stumbled. The list is very huge, but I cannot narrate it altogether at this point of time. With a lot of enthusiasm, I joined the IPS. When I went to Thunder Valley for my training, the first case was goat decoity. That means goats were all taken away in hundreds. I don't know whether you, this is my favorite story. I've told already this in Christian college, my own friends, my own buddies. So I was so enthusiastic, what is called keen type probationer, KTP. With all the energy I went, and finally by the time I caught the culprit, it was all bones which I got because it had been chopped, mutton, and delivered to the whole villages. And my first case was zero, no detection. Came back after some time, there was a story, sensational case of Sivapuram temple statue and so many things used to be spoken of. There was a person called Mohandas, a legendary police officer in Tamil Nadu. He was all very keen the case should be detected. So, so many statues were getting uh, stolen from Tanjur side and I was in a place called Patukotai. So, my friend who is retired with me, Jaseshadri, he was ASP Nagapatnam. So, he told me that he has got some clue and we went to detect, like Sherlock Holmes, we put on my, you know, camouflage and all that. I took my brand new Fiat car, which was part of my dowry those days. Dowry was not illegal those days. <laughs> Viswanathan gives me an empathetic smile, so he understands, I guess. <laughs> this younger generation, for you guys, it's no go. I'm talking about the olden days. And we treated our women well. I mean, by the way, it was not a quid pro quo either. So with this brand new Fiat car, Desert Mist was the color. And we drove, and I was driving, and, uh, and I used to have a huge mustache, and for that day, I don't know whether I trimmed or did what, but did something, went to Nagapatnam, fuel at my cost, nobody paid anything. So a lot of trouble, and finally we recovered the statue and the accused and came back. The moment we gave it to an expert, he said, this is not even 100 years old. I thought it was an antique 1,000 years old. So imagine my disappointment. I was trying to become a great um, detective and flop. Like that, there have been several flops, not one. When I went for my first law and order posting in Patakota again, I was waiting for the first mob which I can disperse with my lathis. Because one of the bread and butter, the touchstone of your thing is how you wield your lathis, effectively or not. So don't look at us as very brutal kids who want to beat all the time, but that is basically our job, part of our just thing, to deal with the violent mobs. So I was looking forward to a violent mob which I can beat and disperse. And one day I got the news that there is a mob sitting in a place called Manora, which is on the beach. It was a shooting place. And I think if I remember the actor Ambiga, somebody, I forgot the name, one of them who was just up and coming that time. I'm talking about 77. They had come. And Manora people were a little excited. And they went and troubled the shooting crew. And that was the law and order. Having gone in my jeep with the entire strength of Patakote police station, about 15 fellows in my jeep and me sitting next to the driver and you know, we all went and charged and by that time it was a very funny sight, our people in boots trying to chase the mob on the sand, the crew was rescued, nothing happened to the crew, we rescued the crew, it was a very successful re hostage rescue operation, but we could not beat a single fellow, so my law and order was a flop, but it was adequately made up in the years to come, I would amply make it up in the years to come. In crime detection, in law and order, even my Veerapan operation was a total flop. My first raid was a fiasco. But these failures, 
or something to be taken, accepted as part of your life. You will not, you will be a picture of dis disappointment if you, every day your staple is going to be up and up. If there is no down, what's the fun of going up? So they call it Hills and Valleys. There is a book called Hills and Valleys, a motivating book. You may like to read it, very simple. Whenever there is a hill, there is going to be a valley. If you move up, you have to come down. You can't be sitting at the top ever. You can find a plateau. So therefore, you've got to be extremely fit mentally and physically. Talking about fitness, fitness should come as a matter of habit. And I'm very happy to see these guys. These days, the youngsters are all more fitness conscious. I don't know whether it's thanks to the, uh, the movie or other influences or seeing general awareness of health, it's a good thing. And finally, you should have several role models. Role model like her, who has come from a place like Leh and who has influenced minds around her, taking no as not acceptable and making our own path. Looking at even actors, some of them, keep themselves so fit just for a movie so that they can look better and earn better. But that, to me, even Amir Khan is a role model. Walter Devaram was indeed a role model. C.B. Narasimhan was a role model. Arul was a role model. And I have several role models, but I don't keep just one, because sometimes they may let you down. So don't stick to a role model. You stick to several role models. And for a particular strand, I like this part of this man, because no human being is perfect. So you like several strands from several people, put it together, and you will have a Teflon kind of a rope. You will be stronger than most of them. Maybe you will overachieve or you will outrun most of your models. And that is what you should do. But don't be over-ambitious and over-concerned. And all the time looking over shoulders of who is going to be a competitor. Remember very often, it is in building a team and leadership that you are going to succeed. Not in your own merit alone. Your own merit may be, you may be Einstein in your IQ. Maybe 130, 140, 150, I don't know what. What's the point if you are going to be misogynic? If you are going to be antisocial? If you're not, going, you're not going to be amenable to the common group, if you're not going to have a community feeling and make them feel better, therefore, please remember, very often the guys who have worked with me are much better than me, stronger than me. This point, humility I always had. Not necessarily because my father himself was an inspector, not necessarily. He was a very dignified inspector. I used to, I mean, as a son looking at a father, you always admire. But even on an average, I watched him through the eyes of others. I found him. He conducted himself with a lot of dignity. That is something I would, I would wanted to cherish. I wanted to duplicate. One thing I realized was most of the time, most of the time, not just often, there are smarter subordinates, the smarter colleagues. And you have put in a position of being a leader, that is because of a lucky coincidence, how to amplify, how to energize, how to motivate, how to make it less complicated for the people around you, is to allow all those energies to flow. So if you are a positive guy, you will never feel jealous or concerned about a better number two. In fact, you should have better number two, number three, number four around. Clinton very pointedly said, I am most excited when I am surrounded by people who are much better than me. I, I saw Clinton only when I grew about, I was 45, 50, I happened to know. But somehow this point I also thought for a long time, I, I, I very sincerely and faithfully endorse this view that your job is to put a team together and to be a good leader. And to conclude, the big sermon I gave you today, I like a guy called Alexander the Great. He died at the age of 33. These days the youngsters are achieving great things between 20 and 30, 35. I saw the list of recent achievers, some of them. Zuckerberg, the guy who shook the world by your face, whatever. And suddenly he found a disruptor coming and knocking it off by WhatsApp. He simply said, I will pay you 19 billion. Please join me because otherwise it's a threat to me. The so younger lot, how many people were in their company called WhatsApp? Actually, the most important people are four or five. There may be other 50, 60, 120. So earth-shaking moments are possible by the youngsters. Alexa, and today, your average, you can live up to 120 according to the Time magazine recently. They already tried it on a mouse. And the mouse was able to live 1.77 normal times. So 1.77 into 80, I believe, is going to be 132 or 140. You can live. That's not the point. How rich, how enriching is your life going to be the people around is a question. So I will conclude by citing what Alexander did. He was feeling a tragic feeling towards the end. And he almost was in tears. 
And people asked him, what's wrong with you guy? You are the best man in the world. You are conquered. Everything. He said, that is the point. I am feeling sad that I have nothing more to conquer. So, he, so look at the man's achievement. But did he achieve it so easily? Not at all. There was a place near Afghanistan. The place is called Malian. The fort which is impregnable. Which cannot be claimed. And he had the best of Scythians and other tribes. Bactrians and other tribes. Who are the most volatile and most robust. Most energetic. Even they refused to go up Malian. What did Alexander do? He said follow me. And he led. So you guys. In the beginning of your career, you should have the ability to tell your team that I am the leader, I have got the capacity, I will do it myself, follow me. I didn't know all this when I joined the service. I was very crude, very anxious, wanting to achieve, and simply in reckless situations where the police job offered the worst, I just stood up and I was not doing anything more than my average constable. But when they looked up to me, they said, oh, this fellow is IPS. He has dropped from heaven somewhere, parachuted, golden parachute, landed. This chap is able to do it. They thought I'm one hell of a big guy. And that is precisely why I'm standing in front of you guys today. And this is all I have to tell you, that have faith in yourself. And try to be a good leader. Try to show initiative and be dynamic in your own circles. You will make the world revolve around you. Have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful life, have a wonderful married life and balance between marriage and successful professional life. And my congratulations to you, Mr. Vishwanathan. I can't tell you how happy I feel that these people, the attention span, you have kept them pretty long. Most of the lecture has been listened to. I'm grateful to you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.